how many returns does a swimming pool need? I mean, that's kind of like asking the question, how many doors does a car need? And of course, we know that cars need two doors, except for the cars that need five doors and all those other cars or all those other doors in between. So a pool's the same way. You you need one. That is the minimum amount that you need for a filtration system. And there's a lot of pools out there that have one skimmer, one return line, like above ground pools, for example. And they get by just fine like that. But I think we could agree it's not ideal. And if you're designing a modern day swimming pool, well, first of all, if you're designing it, it's an in-ground pool, not an above ground. So you want more than one return. One return would probably keep the pool clean. But again, that's not really what we're going for. We're going for optimal filtration and diffusion of chemically treated water. And we're also going for optimal skimming effect for the physical debris that will end up floating on the surface of the water. We want that to end up in the into the skimmer strainer baskets. And one of the ways that you accomplish that is by having an optimum set up for your return ports. So I don't know if we were to just start talk about a rectangle pool, because we have to start somewhere. I guess the optimum number for me in a rectangle pool would be four, one at each corner, such that you would kind of aim the water all in the same direction in hopes that it would vortex. And it doesn't really vortex, so to speak, but that would still be the orientation that I would use is one return at each corner, probably three or four feet off the end wall. And that would be enough. That pool would definitely be able to stay clean and well filtered like that. That changes a little bit when you start to change the shape of the pool. I mean, first of all, with a rectangle pool, you could have only two returns, one on each end, and it's still going to kind of do the same thing. And there's a host of older pools out there built that way. But again, this isn't going to be optimum for the filtration and diffusion of clean water into the pool. It's also not going to be optimum for flow efficiency. It's going to lack a little bit on flow efficiency because there's going to be a restriction to flow. Swimming pool pumps are very large and they move a lot of water. And you could have eight returns, 10 returns in your pool. And that pump is probably going to be deliver, be, be, being able to deliver a lot of water to each and every one of those. So if you only have two, well, I mean, the pump's kind of being restricted from being able to really deliver a lot of water, especially because modern pools still use such small plumbing, like inch and a half plumbing. Sounds big, but it's really not. It doesn't move that much water, and it's a fairly decent or notable flow restriction in a swimming pool. So the optimum number of jets for me in a rectangle pool is four, but when we change the shape of the pool, because there's so many random shapes of pools being installed these days, now you change the number of returns you need. And there is no way to just say a generic number. Oh, you need six now when you have a weird shaped swimming pool. Like if your pool is the shape of an ink blot, you need to be thinking about where physical debris might be able to become trapped. And wherever that is, you definitely want to aim, aim a return right at that. And that's how you can prevent these kind of dead zones from developing. You have this more or less picture in your mind based on the shape of your pool. Kind of go with that whole idea. Pick one direction of travel for the water if possible. And, you know, six or eight returns is not uncommon in a modern day swimming pool. And certainly you could have a lot more than that if you had any kind of, you know, advanced plumbing system or reason to have that. But for the average swimming pool installation that are that is going in today, like a budget pool, two to three is the minimum. I wish those people would probably pay for and add a fourth. I'd say four is kind of like the prime number to have for return ports for your pool. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.